Who's going to be the blockchain of fucking the United Ooh. States? Not Ethereum. Imagine paying literally any amount to vote. No one would fucking pay. No one would vote. There's an interesting opinion piece on Coindesk about um, how it behooves China, China's interests of like, like, yo, we got, we got this stable coin, this government coin. And what China would really want would be like US be like, oh, we got to hurry up and do this thing. Because then it creates like a race that China's are a little bit ahead of in terms of just being able to use their coin with the, the countries they interact with rather than America having their kind of foothold on blockchain stuff. If you are not a Chinese resident or whatever, and you're holding their China coin, you're an idiot. Well, it'd be, it would be government to government stuff. They don't care about kids. I mean, besides like watching what people buy in China, what they would probably really want to do is doing government to government transactions. That's so their native fucking... Currency. That's mad. I can then, just imagine. Then you could have dollar stuff. If, if China's working with like a Russia or a Venezuela and they're like, yo, we got to work in this, uh, in this, in this digital yuan, 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 and now the dollar, you're doing little, little stabs at the dollar here and there. You think Russia would prefer to work with that over the dollar? Even though the fucking whoever runs China could be like, you know what? Today I want to make the Chinese yen worth half as what, oh, much as what it was yesterday, just because I feel like it. If it was a strategic thing of just debasing the dollar, then perhaps. Like, that's just, just that thought alone is fucking scary. China has a fucking history of not being the coolest people when it comes to honesty. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, but that, that same power, I know it's, you got a different kind of country ethics. And if, if someone was going to do it, usually you'd have a USA that might have a little bit more moral on the, on the good side of doing stuff. But I mean, you could have that saying argument like, like US controls the dollar. Uh, so what are we doing here? You know? U.S. controls the dollar; they're debasing it for sure. But I think it's a—I think it's a little different. It's more like authoritarian and more like, "Yo, let's try to stabilize the economy." Yeah, a little like a, a little bit uh, more moral ground. Yeah, more like let's try to get people on their feet and let's let's not and let's let's intentionally make our people starve. Yeah. Vietnam coin. <laughs> Dude, there's a, <laughs> I'm holding it. There's a, a post. Um, I forget what was the original post. Was Sorry, Venezuela coin is what I want to say. And maybe it was something about maybe like age and jobs and how like older in China, uh, I saw a graph. It was like older people got more jobs than older people in the U.S. But it was something about like posted a comment of like some like Vietnam vets of the U.S., and <laughs> and they're like sticking up for like well vietnam vets wouldn't take government money and there was a comment under that there was like that said i mean they still took an l and i thought that was funny they didn't lose bro they lost the war damn 